Mendin Jojo, welcome to Amsterdam. Thank you. Can you explain to me how your work for HIVOS impacts the LGBTIQ plus community worldwide? Hopefully for the better. And this is in the political uh, as well as the economic field. So what we do is that we work with LGBTIQ plus people as well as the organizations that are really trying to advance human rights and economic rights in the Middle East, in North Africa, in Asia, as well as in Africa. Um, we in the West tend to think that we are the owners of the LGBTIQ um, narrative. And uh, we have the tendency to tell, especially people in the global south, you are not doing it the way we want it. Your reaction to that, please. Stop! Because the narrative on LGBTIQ plus is not something that is owned by a particular community. I think if you speak to Africans, East Africans, Kenyans, Ugandans, Ghanaians, Tanzanians, there are some very beautifully and beautifully diverse stories that are coming out from communities about what it means to be African, what it means to be gay, what it means to be queer, what it means to be a lesbian. And these are stories that are authentically African. So I think it's authentically more authentically African. Authentically African. So let's listen to what is coming out of each other's countries and let's see what music we can basically create together instead of trying to own the narrative of what it means to be a particular kind of person. Thank you.